I'm here with Nick from No. Yeah. There you go, buddy. Hi. And we're talking about Blast and Buddies. Yeah. Yes. So how long did it take to develop the game itself? Uh, so we started in February. Yeah. Um, and we were on PlayStation Vita and 3DS at that point. So we just come off the back of doing a 3DS and a Vita game. Yeah. yeah. Um, and we came up with a cool concept for Blasting Bunnies, uh, where you're this cute little bunny rabbit defending your rabbit burrow. Yeah, yeah. And you're using like a machine gun or a mounted gun turret and taking all these other cute bunnies out. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then we kind of pitched the idea to Sony, see if they wanted it for PS4. They seem to like it. We got dev kits in March, uh, and then we've basically got the demo up and running for, for EB Expo. Very, very nice. So Sony's been very forthcoming. Yeah, they've been great to work with. Yeah. Um, and most of the, like the Nintendo have been really good. Sony have been really good. They're really like the two of them are really like the stuff we're doing with Cute Men on Wii U. Nintendo have been awesome with that. So both of them are really starting to get the whole indie space now. Yeah, yeah. Um, Microsoft, we've been recently approved by as well, but they're just they seem to be a little bit more behind the curve, I think. Yeah. Like that. Uh, Engine, can you talk about that? Yeah, yeah. yeah. What do you use to create uh, both like a Cute Men and Blast the So we we um, at No are don't like spending money, so we are using the Fire Engine, which comes for free with Sony's um, uh, development hardware. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and it's open source, so it runs on PC, uh, it runs on um, Vita, 3DS, uh, sorry, Vita, uh, PlayStation 4, and PlayStation okay, I thought, 3. Um, you could only get the Fire Engine if you were a Sony developer. Yeah, you are, but oh, it's okay. still weirdly open source, so really? yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, nice. I'm not quite sure how that works, but uh, so we've taken it and put a layer on top of it, yeah, so yeah. our game speaks to that and then can spit out the, the, the PS4, the Vita, and also using separate technology, the 3DS. Very nice. And then Cubemen and, and Orbiter, that we're kind of yeah, helping so. get onto console, they're both all, they're all, in, all in Unity. Yeah, yeah. So can you talk much about Cubemen? Like how long that's been developed? Or do you yeah, want to... um, Seal probably knows more about that, but yeah. um, Cubemen, I think, uh, he did Cubemen 1 last year, or maybe the year before, and yeah, yeah. it was really successful. So he followed that up with Cubemen 2, and it, which is out at the moment on Steam and iPhone, uh, or iOS. And it's been really popular. So you design levels, and it's kind of like a real-time uh, terror defense strategy game. Yeah, yeah. And you can share the levels across the world, and you can play six-player, multiplayer. So we negotiate with Nintendo to bring it over to the Wii U, and we're keeping all of those features. So if you're on the Wii U, you can play against um, users on PC, Mac, so Linux, pure iOS. Pure cross-compatibility. Yeah. Very, very and you nice. can share levels against all of those guys as well. Very, very which nice. is cool. And a world first. There it is. Nick, thank you very much for your time. No worries. Great hope, to meet you. Hope it all goes well for you. I mean, it was looking really fantastic. At yeah. The yeah. It's been great fun. We've had a lot of really good feedback. We need yeah. to tweak our controls a bit, but um, <laughs> that's what we're here for. So That's it. Uh, enjoy the rest of your evening. Oh, well, you too. Thank you. I'm here with Sion from Free Sprocket. How are you going, buddy? Good. How are you? Talking here about Cubemen 2 on the Wii U. Yes. yes so very how exciting. long have you been developing for? Uh, Cubemen 2 was in development for about two years. No, sorry, 12 months. Cubemen 1, then Cubemen 2. Yeah. Um, it came out on Steam and um, iOS about four months ago. Yeah, yeah. And we're hopefully pushing out Wii U by the end of this year. Uh, so, so, what was the concept behind Cubemen? So, it's a hybrid between tower defense and RTS. I'm yeah. a big tower defense game lover, but I got frustrated that you place a tower and then you can't move it. So, it's Cubemen. So, your, your towers are men. So you can place them around, but then you can move them around. Yeah, yeah. So you can play offensive games and defensive games. Very, very uh, nice. Then we've done some crazy stuff, like added Capture the Flag and uh, King of the Hill. So really, it's a game modes that you wouldn't normally find in a TD type game. That's it. And you used Unity for the engine, correct? I'm using Unity. Yeah. How's it been for you? Awesome. Been awesome. using Unity since 2006. Love very it. Right. So very easy to pull out a prototype. Very easy to. Very quick to it. prototype with. Uh, highly recommend it. Um, so many different platforms it's on, and they do a lot of the hard work for you. So like going to Wii U has been pretty good because you know all the engine stuff is taken care of. Yeah. So how many months until the game's released completely? It's pretty much ready. So we're hoping to be submitting in maybe three or four weeks, very and then nice. it's up to Nintendo. Very very nice. Well, yeah. sir, nice to meet you, buddy. Nice hope everything goes well for you. Thank you very much. Keep it too. Brilliant. Awesome. Thank you. Have a good day.